Welcome to Milton Keynes, the headquarters of Table Tennis England for the draw for the national championships. We're going to be drawing the men's singles and the women's singles today. England doing fantastically well out in Kuala Lumpur at the World Championships and those players will be performing in Hatfield later on this month. So uh, let's find out who they're going to be playing and what the rest of the ties are going to be. I'm joined by Steve Smith, the tournament referee. Uh, Steve, how's the draw going to work? Uh, as with ITTF regulations, we'll be drawing uh, the players at random into the positions they can be drawn. Um, seeds numbers three and four will be drawn at random into the, the, the either half. Likewise with five to eight, they can be drawn into either, either quarter, but it's all random, followed by numbers nine to sixteen, uh, again at random, followed by the remaining players seventeen to thirty-two. The other thing we've got to be careful of is um, paying attention to count counties. We don't want people from the same county playing each other until as late a stage as possible. So we'll be drawing the people in order of their ranking, except for where we've got those clashes of county. Yeah, okay, so there's going to be a little bit of toing and froing as we uh, put balls into this pot here and then draw them out. So bear with us. We will leave the tape running constantly so that you can see that the draw has integrity and it is transparent. But uh, please forgive any slight slips of the tongue or if we uh, drop something on the table or anything like that. We will keep it going and it all adds to the comedy value. So uh, Martin Day, the competition and events officer, is going to help Steve to uh, make the draw. And uh, we'll be starting just by formally putting Paul Drinkhall and Liam Pitchford, the top two seeds, into their appointed positions. So, Martin. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Paul. As I said, we'll start with the men's singles, and the first two seeds we don't need to actually draw out of the hat. But the number one seed, Paul Drinkhall, gets placed into position one in the draw. Followed by the number two seed, Liam Pitchford, being placed into number 32 at the opposite end of the draw to Paul. So as we explained earlier, numbers three and four seeds, uh, they are drawn at random into either half, obviously at the opposite ends to the numbers one and two seeds. So Andrew Bagley, the number three seed, can be drawn into either position 16 or 17. Number 16. Which leaves the number four seed, Sam Walker, to be drawn into... Number 17. Okay, so moving on to positions 5 to 8, the numbers, seeds numbers 5 to 8, we'll start with Danny Reid because he from Cleveland has to be in the opposite half to Paul Drinkle, therefore Danny can only be drawn into positions 24 or 25. And he is drawn into... Number 25. The remaining three players, uh, seeds 5, 7 and 8, can be drawn into any of the three remaining positions. The next person we will draw is the number five seed, David Macbeth. Number eight. Followed by the number seven seed, Chris Duran. Number 24. And the remaining number eight seed, Tom Jarvis. Number nine. So we move on to their positions 9 to 16. Again, we'll do the county clashes first. The one, first one here to look at is Sam Maybe, who's the number 16 seed, but he has to be in the opposite half to Chris Duran. Therefore, he can only be drawn into positions 2, 3, 6 or 7, 10, 11, 14 and 15. It's four and five. Yeah, I've, I've made a mistake there. Let's take them out and we'll uh, put the right balls in this time. Apologies. Well, apologies. Sam could be drawn into positions four or five, twelve or thirteen. He's drawn into number four. Next person to be drawn, the number 90, Helsham Rasinga, can be drawn into any of the seven remaining positions in these in this part of the draw.
Number 13. The next person to be drawn, also from Sussex, Craig Bryant, therefore has to be in the opposite half to Helshan, can only be drawn into positions 20, 21, 28 or 29. Number 21. And the, re the remaining players here can be drawn into any position. Starting with Michael O'Driscoll, number 10 seed. Number 29. Followed by Adam Notland. Number 28. Matthew Ware. 12. Larestus Trumpaskis. 20. And finally for this stage, Daniel Lawrence. Number 5. Okay. So the, the next part of the draw is the remaining 17 to 32. The remaining 16 players. The first person we'll draw here, again looking at the county clashes, is Joshua Bennett from Sussex who has to be in an opposite quarter to both Helsham and Craig. So therefore he can only be drawn into positions 2, 3, 6 and 7, or 26, 27, 30 or 31. Twenty-seven. And the remaining player from Sussex in the draw, uh, number 31 seed Jack Bennett, can only be drawn into positions 2, 3, 6 or 7. 7. The next person to be drawn, Alex Ramson from Northamptonshire, must be in an opposite quarter to Chris Duran and Sam Maybe. Therefore, can only be drawn in positions 10, 11, 14, or 15, 26, 30, or 31. 11. Next, Alec Ward from Cleveland. Again, opposite quarters to both Paul Drinkle and Danny Reed. Therefore, he can only be drawn into positions 10, 14, or 15, 18, 19, 22, or 23. 14. Next we have George Downing from Dorset, who must be drawn in the opposite half to Matthew Ware. Therefore he can only be drawn into the bottom half, which is positions 18, 19, 22, 23, 26, 30 or 30. 21. The next player to be drawn is Marcus Giles from Surrey, 
therefore in the opposite half to Laurestinus Trombauscus, which is the top half, so positions 2, 3, 6, 10 or 15. Number 6. The next player to be drawn, Adam Harris. No, I'm wrong. Sorry, take an edge. Sorry. Next player to be drawn, Adam Harris, Harrison from Lincolnshire, must be drawn into the opposite half to Tom Jarvis, which is the bottom half. Positions remaining there are 18, 19, 22, 23, 30, and 31. Number 22. The remaining player from Lincolnshire, Matthew Leet. Again, we're now into opposite quarters, so opposite to Tom Jarvis and Adam Harrison. He can only be drawn into positions 2 or 3, 30 or 31. Next player, from Kent, Luke Savile, must be drawn in the opposite half from Daniel Lawrence. Remaining positions there are 18, 19, 23 and 31. The remaining player from Kent, Steve Beerlink, must be drawn in the opposite quarters to both Daniel Lawrence and Luke Savile. The remaining positions there are 10, 15 or 31. Number 10. The next player to be drawn, Ali and Herji, can be drawn into any of the remaining positions. Number 31. I'm take over. And the remaining player from Middlesex, Gable Achenpong, must be drawn in the opposite half to Ali Virgi, therefore can only be drawn in positions 2, 3 or 15. Number 3. Leave it in there. So the final four players, there are no county clashes, so the final four players will be drawn at random across the remaining four places, starting with the highest ranked, Emran Hussein. Emran is drawn into number 19. So it was Emran in number 19. Next player, Kim Daybell. Number 15. Liam McTiernan. Number 2. And the remaining player, last person to be drawn, Mitchell Jones. Number 18. So that concludes the, the draw for the men's singles. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Let's uh, take you through those ties then. So, uh, going from the top, uh, Paul Drinkle will face Liam McTiernan, and uh, Gabriel Achenpong plays Sam Maybe. Daniel Lawrence will face Marcus Giles. 
Jack Bennett plays David Macbeth. Tom Jarvis will face Steve Beerling. Alex Ramsden faces Matthew Ware. Helshan Vera Singer will play Alec Ward. Kim Daybell plays Andrew Bagley. Sam Walker will play Mitchell Jones. Emran Hussein versus Larestus Trompauskas. Craig Bryant to play Adam Harrison. Luke Saville will face Chris Duran. Danny Reed will play George Downing. Joshua Bennett will play Adam Nutland. Michael O'Driscoll faces Matthew Leet. And finally, Aleem Hergy will play Liam Pitchford. And that concludes the men's draw.